Hey guys, let's talk camp shoes. First time I went on a hike that lasted more than a day, I bought these sandals as camp shoes because I figured, well, I'm gonna wanna put something on my feet after wearing hiking shoes all day just to give my feet and my shoes some air. So that was years ago. And you might say, wow, those held up great. But the main reason they still look so new is that I haven't worn them since. Decathlon sells a ton of great stuff, but these, well, the best thing I can say about them is they set me on a quest to find the best camp shoes. And I'm here to tell you that I think I may have found them. Here's five reasons why the EVA Birkenstocks are damn near perfect as camp shoes. Number one, they are very light. I have a size 46, so that's a pretty big shoe. And they still only weigh 245 grams a pair. These by comparison are 215 grams each and almost all the other popular lightweight camp shoes weigh more than the Birkenstocks, at least the ones that I would want to wear. And that brings me to point number two. These are very, very comfortable. Because there's not much sense in bringing a shoe that you don't really want to wear anyway. I know that some people hike for 14 hours straight and then get into bed, get in their tent, and start again the next morning. But that ain't me. I want to find a nice spot to set up camp. I want to cook something. I want to find wood, make a fire. I have a laugh with friends. Let my feet rest. And that to me is a very important part of the day. And I want to be comfortable. So these uh, deliver. And they have the same structured soles that Birkenstocks have always had. And that have made them a, a big name brand and a household name. But this is just made out of EVA foam. Now obviously nothing works for everyone because everyone's feet are different, but as shoes go, I think this is the closest you'll get to a universally acclaimed footbed. They are also pretty cheap. Now obviously 35 euros for a foam shoe is certainly not dirt cheap, but compared to some other camp shoe options, this is quite reasonable. And they've also been fairly durable for me. I wear them pretty much every day, not just as camp shoes. And after two years, uh, this is how they look. A bit washed out, a bit worn on the soles, but still perfectly uh, usable. And they've uh, they've shed five to 10 grams in the process. So for my use case, they've actually become better by wearing down. They're also waterproof. And that matters because that means you can use them uh, to cross small streams without getting your hiking shoes wet. Now, obviously most camp shoes can do this, but other fabrics are more prone to getting dirty or heavy when wet. Also, they are somewhat useful in emergencies. If something were to happen to my shoes, I could probably hike about five kilometers in these. As you can tell, they offer next to no support. So that's definitely gonna end up being a problem. But the stack is pretty high, so at least you won't hurt your foot the first time you step on a sharp rock. And lastly, they're also vegan, if that, uh, if that matters to you. Of course, if you've spent any time on this earth, you know that nothing is ever perfect. So let me give you two reasons why these EVAs might not be the perfect camp shoes for you. Number one, they do take up a lot of space. The same things that make me love them, the sturdiness, the stack height, mean that they are pretty chunky and there's, there's no way to fold them. So if you already have trouble getting all your stuff in your backpack or you're used to the kind of maybe like barefoot shoes that are easy to fold, very small, the size of the Birkenstock is gonna be a bit of a pain. Their sizes run very large, by the way, so I'd recommend uh, going one size smaller than you usually do. Reason number two is maybe you don't need camp shoes. Many, many people get along without them very well, except perhaps in spring, but I should never mention spring because that would surely 